Hello everyone, this is Anuj from Gadget Cake. So finally, we have the first gaming phone officially launched in India by Asus, and it's the ROG phone. And today in this video, we will show you our first impression of this phone. So let's start. ROG phone was announced back in June this year and then launched in September in some countries. And now, Asus has brought this gaming phone to Indian market. So those of you who don't know about ROG, it's the short form of Republic of Gamers and it's there for quite some time and makes PC gaming components. About the phone launch, it is exclusively available on Flipkart.com. And at the time of making this video, we don't know about the pricing but we will update the pricing in the description below. So let's start with the design and the build quality. The ROG phone design is definitely eye catchy and you get the mix of glass and metal. You have all the symmetrical shapes at the back starting from the polygonal shape housing which has a 12 megapixel rear camera setup along with the LED flash next to it in similar manner. The fingerprint sensor also has a different shape. The build quality is amazing as well though the phone is mainly made up of metal which makes it on the heavier side. The main attraction point in the design is the big ASUS RGB logo which is customizable. There is also a feature in the phone which is Aura Sync by which you can sync up the light when playing games with friends if they happen to have an ROG phone. Then at the back we have the ROG aerodynamic system which in my opinion looks pretty good with these two copper vents. Apart from looking cool, this also cooled down the phone and there is a 3 layer system inside it which is vapor chamber, heat spreader and the cooling pad on the top. The back is also protected with the Gorilla Glass 5 and the overall design and look and feel is for sure very good and give this phone a bold futuristic look. In terms of ports and button, we have the power and the volume button on the right side and at the bottom we have the headphone jack and the Type-C charging port. In terms of unboxing experience, you get this cool looking box which has the headset, a 30 watt power adapter and yes, this phone supports quick charge 4.0 and you also get this aeroactive cooler which I will show you in a moment. If you look at the front of the phone, you will realize that it's definitely different than the regular phones and you have the copper vents on the top and bottom which houses the stereo speaker. On the top we have the status light, 8 megapixel front shooter which has an aperture of f2.0. Now the big thing about this phone apart from the design is its screen. The phone features a 6 inch AMOLED display which is Full HD+, but for the first time we have an AMOLED panel with the 90Hz refresh rate and that too with 1 millisecond response time. And looking at it, you can definitely feel the difference while playing games. The screen is also protected with the Gorilla Glass version 6. In terms of hardware, ROG phone is powered by Snapdragon 845. And according to ASUS, it's the first phone to get this overclock processor and its speed been to 2.96 GHz. There will be two variant, 128GB and a 512GB storage with 8GB of RAM. Performance wise, we notice that it's quite snappy but we will test it more later on and let you guys know about the performance in our complete review. The camera on the ASUS ROG is a 12 megapixel dual camera setup at the rear and an 8 megapixel front shooter. Here are few sample pictures. The output is pretty good and has details in them. And here are some pictures taken from the front camera. Now let's talk about the main feature of this phone which is gaming. So the first thing you will notice that there are some additional ports on the side of the phone and if you look closely, there are two USB Type-C ports. These ports can be used for charging as well as to attach the accessories. But in my opinion, this is the best place for putting up the charging port as it will not interfere while gaming. The aeroactive cooler which we get in the box is attached here and this also has a headphone jack and a charging port on it. The cooler helps in bringing down the phone temperature up to 4 degrees Celsius. Apart from that, on the phone itself you have these touch sensitive points which we have also seen in Pixel 2. These points can be used for various actions and by default, if you squeeze the phone once quickly, it will take a screenshot and long squeezing will enable this gaming mode called X mode which boosts up the performance of the phone while gaming. Apart from that, there are two more touch points on the right side of the phone which are called air trigger. You can configure them according to your preference such as L1 and R1 in regular gaming controller and playing PUBG with it was a wonderful feeling. In terms of software, the phone is powered by Android Oreo 8.1 with the ROG UI and there is a lot going on in this custom skin. First is the game center, here you can turn on the X mode manually and also see the different details of the phone such as temperature of the phone. You can also customize the aura light of the logo at the back from here. 
and while playing games, you get the Game Genie feature which will allow you to turn on air triggers, key mapping, clear memory to boost up the gaming and also record and live stream your gaming session. About the whole gaming experience, I can tell you that Asus definitely brought this phone to a next level. Playing PUBG on it was wonderful, especially with the customizable air triggers. There was no heating issue at all thanks to the aerodynamic cooler at the back and also the aeroactive cooler which works pretty efficiently. We will talk about the gaming performance in detail in our review, so stay tuned for that. In terms of accessories, Asus introduced a bunch of them and the first is the ROG phone case which looks really cool and the middle back of the case is also detachable which allows you to attach the aeroactive cooler without any issue. Then we have the twin view dock which allows you to have a dual screen and in this, you attach the phone on the top and extend the view of the game. ROG mobile desktop dock which is similar to the Samsung DeX and the main purpose is to attach the phone with a TV or a monitor and play the mobile games with the keyboard and mouse. Then we have the ROG Wise controller which connects to the Type-C port of the phone at the bottom and gives a full screen view while gaming. And lastly, the professional dock with the Type-C to attach the phone with the external display. Overall, the ROG phone which is the first gaming phone in India offers a lot. From its bold futuristic design to its performance, everything about this phone is premium. Let's hope ASUS prizes gaming beast right, otherwise it's going to be very tough in the competitive Indian market, where you can get the Snapdragon 845 chipset phone only in 20,000. That being said, there's a lot this phone offers such as unique and bold design, amazing build quality, best AMOLED display in a smartphone yet, fastest Snapdragon 845 and the 4000 mAh battery. And yes, how can we forget the accessories to go with the phone? We will be doing a detailed review of this phone in few days, so stay tuned for that. So that's it guys, this was the ASUS ROG phone. Let us know if you like it and also if you have any question about the phone, do let us know in the comment section below. So that's all for now, if you like this video then please press the like button and subscribe to our channel Gadget Geek for more videos like this. Once again this is Anuj signing off and I'll see you in the next one.